to it. So you're going to need the PHP SDK for this, and you're going to need an internet connection, a code editor, and an account with Intersend. If you don't have an account with Intersend, go ahead and sign up down below. This is going to be very important because in this particular tutorial, uh, since it's B2C, you don't expect to have money out of the wazoo. You're gonna have to have an activated Intersend account, but you can also follow along using the sandbox credentials, but you will not really get any money. You'll just get the success message so that once you're live, you'll be able to get uh, to start disembarking these funds. So just go ahead and run this. Composer require Intersend PHP like I've done. So I've done this and I've created an index.php, but as you can clearly see, there is no code currently in here. So just let's just get cracking. So first of all, I'm going to require the classes. So I'm going to say require once. No vendor. Then autoload. PHP. Let's go into this PHP documentation right here for the SDK. Then just scroll down to how to send money to Mpesa B2C. So uh, as you can see, this is what you will need. Okay, so for this next part, I'm going to blur this because I will need to authenticate my credentials using my live publishable key, and my live token. So I'm just going to edit something out of here and you'll just see once I have actually populated these fields. So just like that, I have actually authenticated and I've hidden this particular section. So as you can see, you can disembarse funds for uh, whichever number of people you want to send money to. So you can have this as a very long array uh, full of lists of names and whatever and phone numbers that you're going to pay. But just for this example, let's keep it simple and leave it at one number, like so. And uh, let me just put in my number. Let's use that amount, relative salary. Yeah, very good. And here, let me just uh, echo this out. JSON encode variable response. So I'm basically just turning that into JSON before I display it in the, in the DOM. We have that sorted. I have topped up the balance in the, the business account itself. So if I give this another refresh, bring this along for the ride, keep it right here. So as you can see, we have received that. I'm waiting on the Mpesa message, but that should kick in any second now. So once that does, I'll update you. So meanwhile, I have this uh, CSS snippet right here from bbbbbootstrap.com. You can check it out as well. It's a very good uh, website to get some front-end resources. So you're just going to use this to create the user interface. So let's just get straight to it. Okay, everything is minimal. Perfect. So I'm just gonna copy this. Just throw this off. Then let me just create HTML. Yeah, we have the MPS message, so let me just show you that. Right there. So as you can see, I oh, know that was the original. Or top up in okay, forget that. So HTML. So to use this, you of course you are going to need Bootstrap. Can't imagine myself saying that. It's been our head. So let me just create a style of CSS right here. And link it. So 
Okay. JavaScript. Right here. Let's get the app with JS. Yeah. And we're good to go. So first, let me stop this from running. I'm waiting to see if the pay button has been clicked. And only then will this code run. So let me just go ahead back to the UI. see how this looks. Okay. So. We need This is input type text. This is the placeholder. So I'll have this to be for the phone number. Type text as well. This is the expiry date. Let me see which input fields I wish to retain. So I think I'm going to get rid of the CVV. That's CVV input fields. For the expiry dates, let me set this to. Yes, well done. I have to salad. That is the premium. Okay, so for number payment reason, this should be the amount. That will be the amount. I don't need this div. Okay. <laughs> Let's just get rid of that speed tag alone. Then what I'll need to do is uh, I'm gonna have to wrap this up in a form. So I'll just create that form element. The action is gonna be index.php. The method is post. And I'll just grab that. Voila. Okay, so class button, 
Then going to be eight. So I'm going to set divs. These are input types. So input type text name. It's gonna be amount. Name. Reason. One number. Yeah, perfect. Which means I now have to get these values here. So let's define those values. So variable amount is gonna be variable underscore post amount. And let me just go ahead and duplicate this several times. So, so what I need now is uh, the reason and uh, the phone number. On. Okay, so right here for the variable the amount and then for the narrative that is going to be variable reason. Okay. Let's give that a go. Let's give that another, another shot. Okay. So. Apparently, probably there's some data attributes associated with this. That is why it is doing this. So let me just get rid of all of this. All of that gone. This one, let's see the salary. So, so this one has some, some issues. That again, we mean salary. Salary payment amounts and bar on some payment. And then <laughs> let's just go ahead and test it now. So let me pull up that phone right here. Okay, now. Okay, hope for the best. Let's 
So this doesn't even initiate anything. This does not initiate anything at all. So let's let's try to see what the issue is. Leave class button. Okay, okay, I see. I see. I see. This is misplaced. This is misplaced. This should be right here. Okay, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. So let's give that another shot. Event work done. 10. Confirm. Pull up that phone. Pay now. So this is the Mpesa message. So we have actually received this particular funds uh, using this B2C system. So like I always say, go wild with this, get creative, do more on the system. I would really love to see like, your input on this. So just go ahead and make the implementation. That's the best way to catch up and kind of figure this out and have this on your fingertips. But I think it's a very good implementation. It's very easy, straightforward, few lines of code to get this implemented. And since they're handling everything from their back end, you are rest assured on security. As you all know, it's been fun, but I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace out.